Attack ads are flying as the U.S. Senate race is heating up in Alabama. Voters head to the polls in five days to pick Jeff Sessions' permanent successor. WVTM 13's John Papke fact checks one campaign assault against Roy Moore. Last week, Roy Moore became the latest target in Alabama's heated Senate race. Roy Moore, a PAC backing Luther Strange, launched this message. Despite being one of the highest paid judges in the nation, raking in more than $170,000 a year, Roy Moore wanted more. The numbers in that claim are true. We confirmed Moore did earn $172,000 as Chief Justice 14 years ago. But while that was above the national average for judges' salaries, it was not even the highest in Alabama at the time. When Moore was suspended without pay last year, he made $181,000. Judges' paychecks in 12 other states were higher. The ad continues. So Roy and his wife took over a million dollars from a charity they ran paying themselves a million dollars. We found this claim to be false. IRS filings for Moore's nonprofit, Foundation for Moral Law, break it down like this. The couple earned $660,000 over a nine-year period. Only when you add $435,000 of retirement income, the total tops $1 million. And spending even more on travel, including a private jet. False again. We spent hours studying nine years of financial reports. We found no record that Roy Moore's nonprofit paid for a private jet. Well, so far that pack has spent two and a half million dollars attacking Roy Moore and Mo Brooks while forking out another half a million to promote Luther Strange. Sherry?